Hola, ¿cómo están? My loves, it's Tori the Hope Villa of Guided Intuition and I'm here to do a reading for the month of November. This is going to be everything that you need to know when it comes to your spiritual, mental, and physical well-being for the month of November. So my extraordinary love muffins, before we jump into your reading, I just want to take some time to tell you about this amazing company. Just Cozy Things is an online shop and community dedicated to self-love and and coziness like this is truly their lifestyle I absolutely love the owner Lillian and her self-love journey because you guys know I am an advocate for anyone who stands in their truth and she does it oh so well they have bath bombs delicious flower infused teas planners ritual kits oh my Okay, make sure that you follow them on Instagram. I love to call Just Cozy Things my little comfy, cozy, self-love corner of Instagram. I always click on her page to give you that daily reminder on a daily basis that I am the what? S-H-I-T. Because just like I said, they are a shop where you can get all of your self-love essentials, but they are also a community. Speaking self-love, self-worth, and self-acceptance into the life of beautiful souls. Just Cozy Things is your one-stop shop for all of your essential needs to comfort you on your self-love journey. And hola, como están, my loves? It's Tori, the Hope Dilla of Guided Intuition, and I'm here to do your monthly spiritual guidance from spirit, your guides, Jesus, Allah, the universe, whoever it is you believe in Aquarius, okay? This is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of November. So first thing first, this is what I want to let you know. This is what I want to tell you, honey. I swear, I wish that I had Aquarius in my chart <laughs> because like, or was in one of my main signs that I pay attention to because Aquarius, whatever you are doing, do not stop. There is a blessing with your name on it. Somebody is going to bless you. For some of you, this is like stability. If you've been like worried about your home life, I just feel like the funds are even being like, I see you like being granted like someone's going to be giving you a house or it's some kind of business deal or yeah like or some kind of some kind of money whatever you've been in lack in okay so what spirit wants you to know is that like some kind of blessing or whatever has been kind of like it, i see i just see like a business deal some kind of exchange going down and i see like both parties walking away super freaking happy one is just ecstatic okay so I need you to know that the work that you're doing now, the seeds that you have planted, baby, they're going to reap bountiful. They're going to reap bountiful. Do you hear me? The seeds that you have planted are going to reap bountiful. Bountiful. That's what you need to know right now. It's not in vain. And then for some of my Aquarius, I'm actually hearing from spirit that like you've been going hard, you've been putting that work in. Spirit just really wants you to take some time just to, to relax, take some time just to like, you know, like, pour, like pour, just pour into you is what, is what I'm hearing. Just relax. Like you can get off the treadmill. Like you, you did that work. You, you did that work. <laughs> now it's just about you being open to receive is what I'm seeing. Okay. So let's just see Aquarius, what door are you going to be walking through in the month of of November okay so the first thing that we have is the third eye yeah the third eye raven it says as sunrise hits upon the dew a messenger raven calls claws out to you um interesting thing a raven was sitting on my window like I was like what and when I when I listened when I when I went to see the spiritual meaning behind that it talks about a divine message so whatever you have been asking for just know that it's coming so it says prepare for the unexpected and this unexpected is going to be so delicious like somebody like this I feel like a blessing the the the, the way that I this blessing feels to me feels to me Aquarius is that 
you've been waiting on this. This is like your breakthrough. I don't know if it's in a job, you know, a step up, making more money, but there's like this breakthrough and it's just gonna like open the door so you can get your place, so you can, if you need to move again. I just feel like somebody just like, oh, finally it's all coming together. Like you're just ecstatic about that, okay? So by you really just being, <laughs> being in the right place at the right time, honey, what is that going to do? Yeah, for some of you, whatever this this unexpected, you're going to be traveling and, um, you know, you're going to be traveling. You can meet somebody very important traveling. Um, Aquarius, this could be like, I'm hearing like a connection to work with somebody, but this could also be in love. But yeah, because Sagittarius, we're all about, you know, because I'm a Sag, baby, you know, um, but yeah, also gaining your independency of some way. Okay, but seeking happy go lucky, adventure, honest, you know, bareback. That's that that was weird. Am I here in pregnancy? <laughs> Are you walking through the door of pregnancy? <laughs> but I don't know. I just I just tie that with pregnancy. So if I can get somebody pregnant, somebody's becoming pregnant, honey. But um yeah, but just know that whatever happens, even if you come up unexpected pregnant, Aquarius, it's part of your destiny. Something very crucial is, is happening in the month of November when it comes to your destiny. And if you're watching this after November, like you just need to have that mindset because it just depends on where you are on your journey. I've watched one of my November readings and like I watched like a year ago and it resonated in this very moment. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like, listen, your North Node destiny right here, it's all apart. This is meant to happen. Like your luck is about to change is what I'm just hearing, Aquarius. Stick to it. Your luck is about to change. Also, guys, I forgot to say, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Like this video and share it with a fellow Aquarius. So let's just see what's crowning you. These are going to be the things that you're really going to be pondering on in the month of November. The more that you you more that you think about these things, the more um, stability and happiness they're going to create into your life because we know thoughts become things. So the more that you entertain these things, Aquarius, the more things that you like, the more <laughs> things that you like you will create in your life. I'm getting, oh my God, somebody a poet or something? Okay. Anyway, somebody got a book inside of them. So what is crowning you? We have trust here. And I feel like this is you just trusting, learning to trust the universe, learning to trust divine flow. Like I just got this in my mind. I just got this, you know, let the chips fall where they may kind of energy here you're just you're just going to let the chips fall where they may and i feel like this is opening you up to trust to trust everything that's happening in the month of november is is, is this this unexpected news this unexpected blessing is really going to shift the way that you look at things it's really going to shift your relationship with the divine also you know um for some of my um aquarius even clearing out trust issues you know, because maybe that's the road blocker for you right here. When it comes to like connections and just, you're not able to fully trust is what I'm hearing. But I see that changing in the month of um <laughs> November. Look at this. We got meditate. Okay. We got deep. And destiny. So y'all all with the feels, Okay. This is a very, very spiritual month for you, Aquarius. Very highly spiritual. You know, with this deep thought here, I feel like you guys are ready for something deep. And when I see deep, I see solid. I see grounded. I see stability. So that's what's really crowning you, stability. A, deep, a deeper level of a stability within yourself, within your connections. You know, we have meditate. Also, before you make decisions, before you sign any kind of paperwork, before you even, you know, whatever, um, Aquarius, make sure that you meditate. Is this in alignment with your destiny? You know, is this, is this, can you trust this? Does this feel, what does it feel like for you? You know, I feel like you're starting to realize that like, it's not all, for, this. I just had this weird notion, like you desire something deeper, even if it's money, you want to make money doing something that you love. That's what, that's the energy that I'm feeling like whatever you do in the month of November, it's all about how, how it makes you feel. And I love this Aquarius. You're really paying attention to your emotions. And I feel like the more that you play in these things, 
Um, the more that it's going to connect you to your destiny, the more it's going to connect you to the opportunities that are really meant for you. Yeah. So those are the main things that's crowning you in the month of November. So what we're going to do, Aquarius, we're going to take a look and to see what's going on in your love life. Okay. <laughs> Listen, it says this is what spirit wants you to know. Like this is what spirit needs from you. You know, to get the most out of your love life in the month of November. We have laughter is the best legal medicine. And it looks like it's time for you to take a sweet, sweet hit of it. When someone annoys you or a plan goes um, a weary, weary, try finding something fun, funny in there. And if you ever feel like the butt of the joke, remember that the only difference between some, someone laughing at you and someone laughing with you is that in the first version, you're not laughing. You're all, you always have an option, okay? So listen, I feel like for some of my queries in the love department, it's hard for you to trust, you know? Um, maybe you get in connections that's like, and I wanna say loosely involved entanglements right here. We have feel away, intuition slighted, unsure. So I feel like, you know, or maybe you just have some trust issues due to past relationships and spirit is asking you to give that up, okay? <laughs> because I feel like a, a very important connection in the love realm is coming to you. We have exclusive right here. Commitment, agreement, decisions. For some of you, somebody is going to be proposing, wanting to take it to the next level for you. Um, but I feel like what's happening in your love life is you're undergoing um, a cleanse with these trust issues right here. This is what's being healed. So when you really come out of that, um, Aquarius, you, you showed up in your own reading, the star, when you come out of that, you're going to be really, you're going to be able to open up to love because there's a divine connection coming in. Yeah. But I feel like for some of my Aquarius, you're so focused on your career right now, <laughs> you know, like you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see this person. You wouldn't be able to pay attention to them anyway, because we have the honeymoon reverse right here. So I don't feel like you're really open. You're focused more on your stability and spirit is saying that is going to come. But in the meantime, even after the stability, even after say, if you get grounded in your career and you, and you get where you want to be, it's still this level of lack of trust that will repel this connection. Okay. So spirit really wants to, um, really wants to show out. Let's just see. Let's see what spirit want to show out when it comes to your love life. Let's see. If I can get all the cards. Student. Oh yeah. For some of my queries, like you didn't have try to try and it just went, it went left. It's like, dang, can we get it right? So let's just see spirit when they learn to trust what's coming in for Aquarius are, how is their connection going to be? I don't know. I'm getting like a single vibe or even like, you know, loosely involved or you have somebody, but I feel like it hasn't really went anywhere. Let's just see. Okay. Seven of swords. Yeah. I feel, and this is you Aquarius. I feel like due to this past hurt, because people think the seven of swords is me like, you'll talk yourself out of a relationship. Like they just like the other ones. I, mean, I can't trust them. Look how they doing. Da, 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 da. Like you'll talk yourself out of a rela relationship. You ain't got time. <laughs> the first inconvenience that I see it, but it's due to, it's due to you like really opening up and really loving, you know, that you're like, ah, you know, you just, you're not willing to take that chance. But I see with temperance here, you know, that's being healed right now. You're on a, you're on, your love life is going to ascend, but I feel like it's about you just being able to open up and trust more. And I feel like that's what you're healing in the month of November. Yeah. I feel like that's what spirit wants you to focus on. We got the page of pentacles right here. Cause I feel like even if someone like made an offer. Yeah. You got options coming. You have people that just genuinely want to connect with you, want to flirt. Then you have people that, you know, want to come in and like really wife you or, or, you know, like make you turn you into hubby, honey. Like you got options. I, whether you don't see them or not, you probably can't even energetically feel them, but they're around you. But I feel like Aquari Aquarius, your trust, or even if you did <laughs> see them, like you just, you're not trusting nobody, baby. You're not trusting nobody. Yeah. Like because of past hurts, like you is rejecting people. Like you do it modestly. I love it though. <laughs> you do it real cute. Like, <laughs> yeah, see something. Look at all of this. Come on. You fighting them off with a stick. I feel like.
like this when or for some of my Aquarius, if you've been like it's been dry, like swift, your love life is about to change, baby. Once those trust issues and you let go of that past, like baby, you're gonna have to fight them off with a stick, is what spirit is showing me here. Okay, like you're gonna have to fight them off with a stick. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. So now we're gonna take a look and just see what you need to know in the month of November that will bring you more fulfillment in your life, okay? So, firstly, when it comes to your finances, God is your source, source. <laughs> okay? God is your source, okay? Being like, you live in a limitless world. Don't limit yourself. There's so many ways to make money, Aquarius. There's so many ways to, I feel like for some of my Aquarius, you are, um, this is not for everybody, but I just feel it. Like, um, you're, you're shedding a lack mentality, Okay, or if it's for some of you, you're shedding a lack mentality, a poverty mindset. And then for some, I feel like you're about to switch careers and spirit is just saying, trust, just know that, um, know that God is your source. You're going to get that job. You're going to get that position that you want. You're going to be taken care of. Okay. As you transition. Also, guys, we have the five of swords, the queen of wands and the seven of swords. And then the Knight of Cups. So this is what I'm, I, what, what I'm seeing with this, guys. And what's this one? Okay, <laughs> Lord, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I always do this. The Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. So for you, working on your trust, trusting the universe, trusting connections due to past disappointments. Is really going to take you out of any, any stagnation or any lack mentality. Because the thing about it is if you feel like you can't trust people because in the past somebody did you wrong. Aquarius, we know how the universe works. You know, that's going to be brought to you. Okay. So I feel like when you deal with, when you look at the trust issues. Okay. I love do some meditations for trust issues. That, that works good for me. You know, um, do a little heart work, do a little heart work, your heart chakra, because I feel like when you do that, all of this is going to disappear. This is what's, and you're really going to be able to step into your power right here with this queen of wands, this fiery energy, or maybe this blessing, whatever this blessing that's coming in, it's going to remove all these swords. It's going to remove all this. You're, you're going to be in a lighter energy is what spirit wants you to know. But I feel like right now, Aquarius, you're, you're clearing very heavy karmic stuff. Some of my Aquarius, if you resonated with that, remember guys, you don't have to take it all, okay? But I feel like if you've been, you know, it's been a little hard, been a little heavy, that's because you're clearing. So what else do you need to know? Bring love into the situation, Aquarius, and your commitment is being tested. Like I said, do not give up. Do not give up. Do what lights you up. Do, do it because the love. Bring love into any situation and it has to transform and just stick to whatever it is that you've been doing. Be committed to it because it's really going to pay off is what spirit is saying. So the word that spirit wants Aquarius to keep at the forefront of their mind before they make a decision, before they respond, you know, just ponder on this and the highest, the highest of all involved, the highest good for all involved will come to play. And we have inspiration. Do what inspires you. That's literally what's going to bring <laughs> so much, so this, this blessing, this massive blessing into your life by doing what inspires you, okay? So Aquarius, I love you so freaking much. It was such an honor to read for the beautiful soul that is watching this. If you're new to my channel, I love you guys. Thank you for vibing with me spiritually. I don't take it lightly. Welcome to the fam, boo. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I will catch you on my channel. She blazing. Uh -huh.